Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial here for setting up a headless Factorio server on Windows. You can uh, do this and it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. Now one quick thing is that this, this is like, this is a headless server that will run on its own, right? So it's kind of like a Minecraft server. If you just want to play just like with one friend or whatever, you can just do the multiplayer in game. This is one if you want to host a server that people can join anytime and all that. So you need to locate your Factorio folder. Yours is going to obviously be different than mine. I've moved mine around and changed the name and stuff. But yours will probably be under your main drive, which is probably C, uh, and then program files, and there should just be a Factorio folder in there um, if you haven't moved it or changed it. Now, another place it could be is in your roaming folder. Um, if you're using Steam, it's probably going to be in there. And a quick way to get to that is just go to your Windows search bar down here and do percent app data percent. It'll bring you straight to your roaming folder and you can see here's our factorio folder. I'm not using this one, um, but you might be. I've just done all kind of weird stuff, but just find your factorio folder. Uh, and once you're in there, go into bin x64. And then this is where you're going to want to create your server file. And it's actually really quite simple. You just need to go to new text document and I've already done it so I'm not going to save any of this. Yours is going to be blank obviously you create a new one um, but I'm going to show you what you need to put in it. So in your new text document you need to put in this and uh, I'll have this text as well um, as the instructions written in the description so you can easily copy this and such. So you need to do start and then this slash wait part is actually optional, okay? This is not required, but I would highly suggest you put it in because essentially what this is going to do is it's going to tell the console for the server to stay open. If you don't have this, it's going to be, it, it, there's not going to be any indication that the server is really running unless you look in like task manager. Okay, so this is going to keep the console open. I recommend putting it in there. So start space slash wait space factorio.exe and then another space dash dash start dash server space and then the save name that you're going to pull and this is important as well you have to designate a save file for the server to use on startup it won't work if you don't it needs to have an already established save and this is also case sensitive uh, so make sure you name this exactly like the save is named and make sure you do put dot zip at the end here and um, if you want a fresh save file, which this one is, uh, you just simply go into Factorio, go into single player, and start a new game, let it load up, and then save it uh, so you can have a fresh map. And uh, you can pull from an already established one as well, obviously. Uh, but if you want a fresh one, you'll just need to do that. And then the next important part is how you save it. You need to save as and name it server.bat and save as type you need to save it as all files and both these things are required for it to work and I'm obviously not going to do it I've already done it but once you do that it should create an actual server thing like this this is your bat file and then theoretically you should be able to just launch it double click it uh, hopefully you don't get any issues I had some permission issues and that's why I've moved mine to my desktop if worse comes to worse, you can probably do that. Uh, and as long as you don't have any wacky stuff with Factorio um, and you've written the text properly and used the correct save and stuff, it should work. And I believe mine has. Um, I don't know all the stuff it's uh, displaying here, but essentially you can just look down um, the list here and kind of see what's going on. Um, you can see that it's firing up on port 34197, which you will need to port forward. Uh, that's a very important thing. Make sure to port forward in your router to 34197. If you don't know how to port forward, um, just look up instructions for your specific router on the internet. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, port forward for that, otherwise no one will be able to join. Uh, again, the default port is 34197. Um, you can go into your Factorio config file and change that if you'd like. Uh, and if you forget whatever, you can just find it in there. And, and, and we can just see um, 
old state, ready, new state, creating game, receive state, peer, old state, creating game, new state, in game. So I'm assuming this means we're good to go. I don't see any error messages. And there you go. And since we put that slash wait in there, it's keeping the console open. And just a few quick little things to mention. Um, since this is like a headless server, there's no character in the game. Um, so it's just going to be a server. Uh, it's paused if no one is in the game, actually, which is kind of nice. That way it's just not running forever. And then it saves on exit if you exit properly, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And it auto saves normally as well. So it should auto save uh, just like the game normally would. Theoretically, um, you know, if not, it will just auto save on exit if you do it right. Okay, so do not, if you want it to save, do not close it just by closing it like this. If you want it to shut down properly, um, have your console open and do control C as if you were going to copy something. And it's going to go through the shutdown process and then ask you if you want to actually terminate it. Hit Y for yes and then enter. And that should set, shut it down properly and actually save it. And there you go. It's actually just as simple as that. Uh, Hopefully, again, you don't run into any errors. If you do run into, like, permission errors with it, um, I suggest moving it to something you know you have permission in, like desktop. That's what I had to do. Um, but, yeah, there you go. If you have any other questions or suggestions or feedback, leave it down in the comments. And, again, the written instructions for this, as well as the text for creating your server here that you need to put in will be in the description. And there you go. I believe that's it. So that's how you can set up a headless server. For Factorio, for people to join, just make sure to port forward as well and uh, give them your IP and you should be good to go. And this should work with mods as well if all your mods are already working together and such. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and take care.